game begin. A glorious, beautiful Saturday morning. Me and Michael just working in the shop. Look at it. Yo! Go, go, scrub, scrub. Isn't this great? My cinder fella going. We're just in the game shop. It's nice and peaceful. There's no kids crying next to us. I want more milk and I want cereal and she, that's mine and she took it. You know that life. Oh man, it's like you've been in my home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just nice. Sometimes, hey, sometimes it's nice to go to work. I'll just say that. I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll gladly go to work, babe. Sorry. I'll just kind of hang out in the game. Hang out in the game shop. Okay, guys, it's Saturday. I have not shown you guys the end product of what we have going on. Because this was all uh, cabinetry and shelves. And now there is a nice open space. I'm gonna let Michael kind of take you around yeah, come on. just for a bit and show them. So we've got all these cases through here. The light from the cases really brightens up this area. It really does. I love it. Makes it just, you can see so much more of the store. The, the older shelving typically came like, way up high. It would have been way over Rick's head. You wouldn't have been able to see him. Now you can see him. Hey, sir, welcome to the store. Hi looking there. looking for anything today? I am. I'm looking for Pokemon cards. Can you help me? Yes, right here we have Pokemon cards now. Pokemon cards, and they have been flying. And here they are. People have asked for them, and we delivered Pokemon cards in our new beautiful little glass case that I think you're going to hire, raise yes. at some point yeah. to kind of make it all level. So, yeah. Yep. And they're all like uh, individualized. Like this is the Nintendo cabinet. Nintendo, yeah. Some Wii U, some GameCube, some of the more rare items over here behind the glass. We swing it around over here. We got some SNES. A lot. I mean, a honestly, lot of SNES. We got a couple heavier's too. Wild Guns right there. That's a big one. Yeah. We got Wild Guns and we got Dracula X. So if you're looking for them, come on into the store yeah, because we're about caught up on videos. We're almost there. So close. <laughs> so close. But yeah, and then we got the NES here, and then uh, Game Boy, and then we got a couple of little these stand-up cabinets, and then to TBD over here for this case, we got a nice Nintendo case. So apparently, this case always gets confused with the N World of Nintendo case. This is not missing the top. Every time people see this, they're like, "Oh, it's missing the top." Look, look at the top of this. This is glass. There was not a top on this. A Supposedly, these were like in retail stores back in the 80s as like their main Nintendo class glass display. And apparently these are pretty darn valuable. I think like around the four grand mark. Whew. So we got to rewire it though, because this thing is weird looking. We need to, we need to rewire it. So yeah, look at it, it's nice. So open, so much Why more space. Why did we do this, Michael? Why did we do this? Why did we change it? Because he's constantly trying to find things for us to do around here. That's the real no main one's thing. Coming in. No one's buying anything, so we just move stuff. That's not true. That's not true. Why? Why is this important that we did this? For us, it was because when people come in to visit us, most of the time they have to walk all the way back to the very back of the store to find someone that can help. Here, you're gonna be able to be greeted right off the bat from one of like four different locations. So you wanna be... buy all these Amiibo? Well, of course, I'm right here. I can get them for you. Whoosh. So we'll have somebody right here. We can have somebody stationed right over here. Then obviously right back at the main register area. And then way in the back, we'll have a trade station back there as well. So we're gonna kind of spread everybody out to where help is never far away. I like it, I like it. We got the big jazzercise balls. It is Christmas. Okay, no lie, I came in here and the lights weren't on yet. I could, just, could you can still see because there's like a little bit of light. And I thought Master Chief was legit a tree with the lights off. I turned the lights on. I was like, oh, hey, look, there, there he is. Yeah, He's all hiding in the in the garland. It's his Christmas ghillie suit. That's not garland. What am I talking about? You got Joa's little ornament there. But yeah, he's he's ghillie suited out for Christmas. I like it. Well, we got some stuff to do. Let's try to figure out what we need to do. So we're constantly trying to figure out what's more efficient in our warehouse space. So this is not a super, super large space, but it does go up very high. So we have utilized the height pretty darn well. There is Mario's torso. 
Uh, dude, lay off the, the shrooms and the donuts, Mr. Mario. So here is where a lot of our consoles are. We tried to like put two N64s at a time, a couple SNESs and everything like that. But I can't tell you how many times I see people up there all day long grabbing more consoles. Now the thing that doesn't make sense to me, and I think it's just something you do. You just start like, oh yeah, we put those there and I think it works. It's not really efficient. This area right here is all of our like doubles and stuff. Like just stuff that we you know whenever we need to refill the NES section, the Super Nintendo section, N64, we go there. We don't do that very often. So I think we're gonna move this stuff up and more consoles down. So this whole section will be consoles. I didn't get General Manager's uh, Christie's approval on this, but I own the store. So I'm gonna do it. And if she wants us to change it back, I will gladly change it back. But I think it makes sense. So let's start grabbing those and we'll see how it looks. Let's go. So not perfect, but definitely better. Nintendo, Nintendo. Um, there's N64, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, GameCube, Switch. Xbox, OG Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and then all the stupid Xbox names. Oh, nothing makes me more frustrated than the Xbox nomenclature. And then PlayStation, PS3, PS2, and then our our lone Sega stuff right here. Probably gonna put box consoles here for the wall. We always have to fill up the wall out there with um, box consoles, so probably gonna do that. This is just much more efficient Everything looks much neater and nicer. I hope everyone likes it. I dig it. Now, we are actually about to open up some retro games from GameStop. I've been hearing people are getting fake games from GameStop whenever, because GameStop is now um, selling retro games. So I was like, I'm gonna test this. Let's, let's buy some retro games. So this is why you guys tuned in to this video. We bought retro games yet again from GameStop. Last time we bought GameCube games, this time we bought a lot of cartridge-based games. <coughs> so, we're gonna see if these games are indeed fake. A lot of people are saying they're buying games from GameStop and their employees don't know how to tell if games are fake or not, and they are literally taking in fake games and then sending people fake games. I have not looked at these yet. Our faithful employees of Virtual Race Game Point have opened these to make the process a bit quicker, and we're gonna dive in. So it was buy two, get one free on games, so I partook, all right? First up is Mario Party 2, which was my freaking favorite back in the day. Pirate Land, shout out to Pirate Land, my favorite board. Um, Mario Party 2, it's got a bunch of grossness on the back. As far as I can tell, that looks good to go. Mario Party 2. Buy two, get one free was a good deal on these two. Next game is Yoshi Story, another great game. A banger soundtrack, if I don't say so myself. Guys, it's looking good, looking good. I think we're two for two so far. Let's move on. I see a cartridge, or a disc-based game. We have Super Mario Galaxy on the Wii. Let's check condition, let's check condition. Oh, woofy, woof, woof, woof. Definitely gonna have to run that through our resurfacer. Nothing worse than seeing a cheap resurfacer make those those gross um, little swirls. So, obviously that's real. Next up is Banjo-Kazooie, which freaking Banjo-Kazooie's playing on right now. I don't know if you can hear it, you probably can't, but it's playing What a Sign from the Video Game Gods. All right, Banjo-Kazooie. Real, real, we're real. Next up is, woohoo, do barrel, Star Fox 64. They're killing it. They're killing it. Good job, GameStop. Everything is real so far. And the last one is a slew of Game Boy games. So let me pull these out. I say slew, there's, there's a couple. First up, we have, ooh, and there's a SNES game. It's kind of weird to get retro games from GameStop. I mean, it's just, it's kind of wild. Kirby's Dream Land, that's 100% real. I can tell right off the bat, this one has seen better days. You can tell it's been probably played for 30 plus years. Super Mario Land. So that's another thing you can't really tell, you know, condition wise. It's just a stock picture on GameStop, but nevertheless, some good deals, man. some really good deals. Um, Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. These always confuse me, just like how Super Mario World 2 is Yoshi's Island. You never think it's Super Mario World 2, but it is. So that's Super Mario Land 3. 
great game right here. We have Metroid 2. Metroid 2, you can see the discoloring of the, just the age on that one. And lastly is a really rough, really rough. So this is one of those situations where I wouldn't have bought this in store had I known this was the condition, but that's a chance you take. So Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. So all of these games, all of these games were indeed real. I got Game Boy games, Super Nintendo games, and N64 games from GameStop for buy two, get one. Let's go. A couple things. Check out this new hat I just got. Sonic Lifesavers. You know I like the combinations. Sonic Spinball Lifesavers. The only thing is, it's pretty tall, isn't it, Michael? It is. It's pretty, it's pretty tall. <laughs> I'm ready to go to McDonald's in the morning, get my, my, my biscuit, and go fishing with the boys. This is a tall. I'm gonna wear it the rest of the time, I don't even care. But this is my Sonic Lifesavers. Sonic Spinball hat. So a couple things, real quick. We have, just so you know, we're gonna start having more whatnot shows. We just have a lot of inventory in the store. All right, so whatnot, I'm gonna start making auctions. Yeah, hmm. Okay, so whatnot shows, like we have eight copies of Turtles in Time. So we're gonna throw a Turtles in Time on a whatnot show. These are gonna be like kind of random, just midday, all kinds of good stuff, guys. Snowboard kids, a little Turtles lot, Breath of the Wild. So come hang out with us. If you're not on whatnot yet, also, this is really important. If you're not on whatnot yet, you can use this link. I think they upped it to 15 bucks. No 15 way. for free. You get 15 bucks for free for signing up for this app and you can buy something with that 15 bucks. So come hang out with us. Additionally to that, check out our sale. You might have to zoom in on that guy. We, our printer's broken. So Joa hand, hand drew, we look like a gas station, but it's okay. Uh, buy any console. So I think this should be going out mid-December. So for the holidays, we're having different sales, um, trying uh, as much as we can. And right now we are doing any console you buy, you get $20 off a used game. So come hang out and check out that deal. And then lastly is the Iowa trade. We got a huge trade from Iowa. We can't wait to dig in to that trade with you guys. Um, until next time, we're going to start ending videos with our new phrase. Guys, never stop playing.